What's up, it's Ben here from Flick, and in today's video, I'm gonna provide you with a detailed walkthrough to help you get up and running with Flick and all the different Instagram tools that we provide to our users. So you probably know Flick as the Instagram hashtag tool, but we provide so much more, and that's what we're gonna walk through in this video, as well as include a few exciting features that are coming very, very soon. So by the end of the video, you'll know exactly all the tools that are at your disposal with Flick, and then how to actually use them to their fullest potential. So let's hop right into my computer, let's get to it. So we're into my computer and this is what you will see when you have made a Flick account and then connected it to your Instagram account to allow Flick to start capturing some data that will allow you to use these tools most effectively. So for this account, it's obviously one that's already been created, but for you to follow along with all the stuff that we're going to walk through, you obviously need a Flick account and we have your back. So if you use the link in the description box or pinned comment of this video, you can go ahead and get yourself a free week trial of Flick and all of the tools that we're going to walk through here. So go ahead, go sign up, use that link, free week trial, completely free, connect your Instagram account and then walk through with us. So this is a top level view when you get into the homepage of Flick. And this is for a specific Instagram account called Symmetry Hunters, which is a symmetry symmetrical photography ideas page, a ton of very picturesque photos that just look awesome. So we're gonna walk through their account for this video. So right away at the homepage of Flick, it shows you a ton of information specific to your account and how it's performing. So you can see right here that this page has recently ranked on 77 hashtags. There's top performing hashtags of 34 and then hashtags used in general at 627. So very top level hashtag specific information for this account. On the sidebar over here on the right, Flick will actually send you updates on how your account and content is performing to keep you up to date with what's working versus what isn't. So for example, the post you made two days ago ranked on seven hashtags. It's obviously great for you to know. And then if you come back to the middle here where you see these little icons, this is what's called your collection. So Flick has a very powerful and intuitive hashtag research tool, but obviously when hashtags are working, you wanna know how to find them again later for future use. And collections is exactly where you'll store all of your different hashtags and help categorize them into different easy to find groups, which we call collections. So you can easily name these whatever you want and attach a graphic or an icon that makes sense for you and the specific collection that you're making. So over here on the sidebar, you're gonna see a few other things as well. You're gonna see search, which we'll get into in a minute. That's how you actually find the hashtags. You can also navigate collections by clicking into the collections tab and then analytics too. So in addition to the hashtag research tool that Flick offers, we also provide a very detailed analytics suite that is very growth oriented and really focused on giving you the numbers that you need to adjust your strategy to grow and help your page perform. And it's also provided to you in a very consumer friendly way. So you don't have to be a numbers with to really get a lot from it. And then finally, the last thing I wanna cover here when it comes to Flick is we provide a ton of free resources in the trainings and tips section. So we have courses in here that are free to our users. We have a ton of blog content and other free resources to help give you all the information necessary to crush it on Instagram. And one other exciting thing is you will soon be able to even schedule your content right within Flick. So in very short order, you will be able to do basically anything you could possibly want when it comes to Instagram all within Flick. So that was a top level view of all that Flick has to offer. Now let's dive into the nitty gritty of each section. So since Flick started out as a hashtag research tool, and that's probably how you heard of us, that's where we'll start our deep dive here. So if you just come into the search bar and you just click into it, it's gonna show you a few different things. It'll show you your recent searches as well as suggested searches based on your specific account. Again, what really makes Flick special is all the information provided is specific to you and your account, which is very, very powerful. And you can also set up filters before you even conduct a search. So if you click down filters, you can turn on smart filters, which again are completely custom to your page, the typical levels of engagement, and all the important metrics that really matter when it comes to ranking on hashtags. Or you can set up a completely custom filter, which we can walk through in a minute, and you can even save filters for future use. So to teach you how to use the hashtag research tool, we're gonna walk through a hypothetical example for this account, Symmetry Hunters. So let's say in this hypothetical example, it's gonna be a picture of a beautiful building. And you typically wanna start your hashtag research with very relevant keywords. So specific phrases that are probably the most obvious that come to mind to describe that specific photo or very much associate with the feelings of the photo or something along those lines. It should be very relevant and very connected. So let's say for this, I would start my search with a pretty generic keyword like architecture. I would then type that in. And even when you type this in, it also then will auto populate things that are also relevant. So then if we hit enter here, it starts to do its magic and allows you to have a ton of information at your disposal and makes finding tags very, very simple. So right when you type it in, it's going to instantly categorize these hashtags into low, medium and high competition. This is super valuable for you to know because you can then put a group of hashtags together that is leveraging a good mix of low, medium and high. And like I said before, you 
can even refine search results further by either including on a save filters or adding a completely new filter that can only show tags that fall into specific engagement ranges, which is awesome for you to know. So you could easily come in to go to average likes and then you could set any sort of range and then that would adjust the tags that come up from this. So you could easily add that and you can go as far as you want. Total posts, daily average post count, all the different metrics that you can ensure that you're getting the best group for your specific account. So typically I start with a word that's very obvious, an obvious keyword. So architecture for this hypothetical example, we're posting a building. So then you would go through and pick some of these tags. So let's say we want to pick some, let's say it's in Canada. So we're going to do architecture, architecture photography, Let's say just architecture, let's say urban photography. Okay, so as you can see, just by clicking them, it now gets added to selected tags. And if you click open here, you have a few different options. So if we were to go through and fill out this list, you can then save to collection, which we'll do in a second here. And let's also select say buildings of Instagram. And another tool that you can actually do to take this even further is so say you think that now you hadn't thought of this hashtag before, but buildings of Instagram is highly relevant. If you were to type that in, it also keeps your previous search of architecture and you can bounce back and forth. But now we're gonna get a whole new set of tags around a specific keyword. So when you come to your hashtag research, this is why it becomes so easy for you to do and far faster because it's gonna auto populate very relevant tags and you know where your account sits in terms of how competitive this is relative to your account. So this gives you more examples. So let's say buildings of Instagrams, let's say Insta buildings, and then more and more things right here. So urban views, urban shots, urban scapes, streetscapes, you get what I'm saying? You'd wanna to put together a good group of low, medium, and high, ideally looking for 30 relevant tags to use on every single post. So once you've gone through and done this, I I recommend going deeper, but always focusing on relevancy here, but expanding on keywords to find more and more examples of great hashtags that will work for this specific post that you're trying to find tags for. So let's say hypothetically we had gone through and we found our mix of low, medium, and high, and we wanna save this. We have a few options here. You can either copy this to clipboard to then paste later. You can also audit the selection. If you type this in right here, it's gonna show you a few different things. It's gonna show you if these hashtags are very large or very small, some outliers, so it may not be suitable. Looking good are ones that they deem to be a solid choice. And as well, they would also show you if any of these tags were banned. So you, as you can see right here, zero banned or flagged hashtags. So this analyzer tool gives you a great idea as to if this group makes sense, if there are any glaring things that you should keep out, as well as to ensure that you're not getting yourself in trouble by using any banned or flagged hashtags. So whenever you've taken the time to put your groups together, strongly recommend using that audit tool. So let's say we wanna save this to a collection, very simple. You can just click save collection and let's say we wanna make a new one. So architecture one, there's already one here. So let's say again, We'll go architecture and then we'll go with a building. <laughs> Let's see if we can find that. Let's do this and then we'll say architecture and then this is the sake of flick video. Let's go flick, okay? And then you can click create. And once you've done this, it's gonna show you a prompt. 11 hashtags have been added to architecture. And you can also add to this list as you go. So just because we have 11 now, doesn't mean we're fixed here. You can always change and adapt these things on the go. And it's all saved right here. So then you're also gonna see that if you go to collections, this is what the page will look like. And you're going to see a bunch of different things here. So I can actually come in and see the list that I have made, architecture flick. You can either select them all or select specific ones. And in addition to that, we also have collections that are made from flick based on our recent or previous activity on Flick as well. So the areas that you saw on the homepage are also listed here. And you can actually come in and see these specific tags and see if there's any opportunities to refine your strategy or throw in some tags that have previously been working for you. So you can see a top performing, recently ranked on, and hashtags used, period. So it gives you a ton of information here to really put the groups together that you need to have a diversified approach to hashtags and also to consistently be putting your best foot forward with using hashtags. So obviously a ton of tools at your disposal. So if anything was unclear, I strongly recommend just re-watching this section of the video so that you feel comfortable doing your own hashtag research and can find the right tags for your specific content every single time. So that was hashtag research and collections. Now let's move over into analytics. So like I teased in the intro, what makes Flick so special is that it's not just a hashtag research tool. We wanna give you as much information as possible for you to make the best decisions on Instagram and really get the most from it. We're very growth centric and obsessed with helping you improve. And this is one of the ways that we help you to do that by giving you very easy to digest relevant statistics and analytics. So if you come in here, you're gonna see a ton of relevant information. So you can see your follower change, over any period that you wanna change this to. You can see your people reach, profile visits, website clicks, et cetera. And you can also come and, again, like I said, adjust this to whatever time criteria you're really focused on. It'll also show you a top level view of your latest post and how everything performed on it from likes, comments, engagement rate, saves, impressions, reach, everything that you wanna know, we have it in a very easy to find situation right here. A massive pro to using Flick is how we actually give you reports based on how the hashtags you used perform. As you already know, on Instagram, it'll tell you how many total impressions came from hashtags, but it doesn't give you a detailed breakdown 
breakdown as to which hashtags brought you how many impressions or how they even performed in general. Meaning that if you wanna track that stuff yourself, it's gonna take a lot of time. So Flick will actually do that for you across all of your content so that you have a way better idea as to which tags are working, what you should be including, and maybe what you should be getting rid of. So if you scroll down here, it's gonna show you more information so you can see your audience activity, give you a better idea of when to post, reach and impressions, and another beautiful chart right here, as well as profile activity and other statistics as well. So you can come in through here. This is just the overview section of analytics. You can also see content, which will then break it down into a post by post sort of display. And this will provide a ton of information for each single post that you wanna go through. And it's not just your main feed content. You can also get information for your stories and for IGTV as well. So you can really get a very solid understanding of how everything's going and look for opportunities to really double down on things that are working and maybe things you wanna include less of moving forward. So we're all about giving you the power to make the right choices. And then also you can come into your hashtags and we'll give you a ton of information specific to your usage of hashtags and the performance of them. So as you can see right here, it gives you a total breakdown. You ranked on 83 of the 121 hashtags used over this last time period. So obviously this account is doing very, very well in terms of ranking consistently on tags. And then it's also gonna show you top performers, mid-level performers, low performers, and then too early to tell. So anything that would fall into here are just hashtags that we just don't have enough consistent information on to really give you the best idea as to which category they fall into. So simply just by continuing to use these tags, Flick will then get enough data to make a distinction as to where they fall into. The account tab of analytics, again, gives you a top-down view of your account from a bunch of top-level metrics specific to growth, as well as audience activity so that you can get a good understanding of what time your audiences are actually online. And then also where they are in terms of the world, cities, languages, all that good stuff, all right here, easy to find for you. And the final section within analytics is reports. So you can actually set up Flick to send you weekly performance reports, giving you a top level view of all the hard hitting metrics that you wanna be aware of if you're looking to grow on Instagram. So these aren't a necessity, it's up to you if you want them on or off, but they are a great way to very quickly get the hard hitting information specific to your account. And also helps to keep you accountable by getting this reminder on a weekly basis. But again, totally up to you, just a potential value add that we do offer. And I always say, knowledge is power, so why not get as much of it as possible, especially in this very easy bite-sized format, makes it very easy to digest on a weekly basis. So the final section that we're gonna cover of Flick today is trainings and tips. So this is where we provide a ton of information and guides to help you not only use Flick, but really just perform better across Instagram. So there are so many different things that you could access in here from videos to blog posts to courses. So there are a ton of free resources here that you get access to as a Flick user that will basically answer any question you could possibly have about Flick or Instagram in general. And even on top of all the free information we provide here, we also have the YouTube channel, which you're watching right now, where we post weekly videos to help you level up on Instagram to grow there, as well as to use Flick to its fullest potential. So obviously, because you're watching this video, that's something that you're trying to do. So don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, tap that like button for good measure so you can find this video later if you wanna come back to learn again. So right within training and tips, you see smart guides, which help to answer some very common questions, as well as popular videos. And this is constantly a growing catalog of content that is free for all of Flix users to access. So you can see troubleshooting, answering all your questions, as well as the blog, and like I mentioned, the YouTube channel, which you are currently watching. We also have a completely free tool called Open Benchmarks, which allows you to get a top level view across a ton of different accounts on Instagram so that you can really see how your stats and analytics compare to accounts of similar sizes or of pages larger or bigger. It's completely up to you. It really helps to provide context as to what your analytics are saying. And this is a tool that is completely free for anybody who wants to access it. It is linked down below. And we just linked a video in the card above where I walked through what all these numbers mean and why it's so valuable. And finally, like I teased earlier, scheduling content is a feature that is coming very soon to Flick, which we are very excited about. You will be able to do basically everything you want to do when it comes to running an Instagram account all within Flick. And we were really excited about that as well. And of course, when that's live, you best believe that we will be making a walkthrough video here on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it. So this has been a walkthrough of how to get started and use Flick and all the tools that we provide from your desktop. And you can also access Flick through our mobile app and we'll be releasing an entire video walking through that process as well here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about Flick or the tools that we covered today, let us know in the comment section down below and one of our team members will get back to you as soon as possible. Keep crushing it on Instagram. I'll see you in the next video and have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. Peace.